Good morning, everybody. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are excited about the sleep-wake fix that I had introduced or shown you guys um, in the previous video. Many people are happy about that. A lot of thanks to the developer that did work on that and get it up and running for everybody. Now, in regards to homebrew and the crashing on 5.1.0, I'm going to go over that quickly. Now, I do not have 5.1.0 on either of these two switches. I'm not really planning on updating just yet. I may, but on this one, but I'm still debating because it's on 5.0.2. This one's on 4.1.0. But yes, this fix is going to work for people on 5.1.0. Now, in regards to that, um, you will be able to get into the homebrew menu as for emulators and everything working, from my understanding, it should work. I haven't tested myself. Anybody who gives this homebrew crash fix a try, let, let us all know. Let me know if you have success in running emulators and stuff like that. Anything you were able to run on, say, 5.0.2. Um, confirm if you can run it on 5.1.0 kind of thing. That would help many of us out. I'd do it myself, but considering the fact that I'm not on 5.1.0, I can't do it. Now, the fix will be in the description. There'll be a link for the micro SD card files. You have to place those files onto the root of your micro SD card. Um, and... Obviously, if you already have files there, overwrite them. These are going to be your new um, your new files that you're going to use if you're on 5.1.0. There is a fix within it that allows Homebrew to launch and not crash every time you try to launch it itself. I'm going to go through right now. I'm just going to start up some Super Nintendo give you an idea of how things are working they are running pretty good no complaints in that regard starting up some earthworm gym got some Mega Man X over here on the on the right running off the pro controller gonna have to make some progress in some of these games been so busy with development and everything and haven't had much time to actually play everybody else that's enjoying all this so i hope you guys really appreciate all the work that goes into making these videos keeping you guys up to date be sure to like subscribe and share for your boy leonidas much appreciated taking out some people <coughs> sorry about that um yeah i was up really late last night and here we are early in the morning many people wanted a fix so I figured it would be a good idea to get on the subject. I'm going to save with R. I state there. Earthworm Jim. There on the on the left. If I push L3, R3, go back, quit RetroArch. Now, you can see the homebrew menu is working um, really well. It's Game Boy Advance here. Legend of Zelda, Minish Cap. I should have a save state for that. Push the L button. See how quickly that loads. Fairly quickly. Volume working. All that good stuff. Close content. Always be sure to close content when you're in RetroArch if you can. Oh, got the wrong parent directory. Got to go to Super Nintendo. What should we start up? Dragon Ball Z. Look at all those. Dragon Quest, Earthworm Jim. Kirby Dreamland. Land. 
Let's see what we got here. Talking. So much talking in the beginning of any game, right? But yeah, for anybody on 5.1.0 who does use this fix, um, I would appreciate it if you took the time to maybe reply in the comments. You know, let us know your success story. If emulators are running all that other stuff. If you were on, say, 5.0 or... If you were on, say, 4.1.0 and you updated to 5.1.0, are the things working now that were before the update? It's good information to have. It's good knowledge to pass on. Now, for the sleep fix, you will want to use the payload that's included in my previous video. There's a link to that. As you can see, the switch will wake up in homebrew right back to the emulator itself. No delay. Wake up my controller. Start. Even this one here on the on the left. Sleep mode. Bang. Wanna wake it up? See if I can do it from my PlayStation controller might work, might not. Maybe I gotta wake it up myself manually because it is running off the PlayStation controller. <clears throat> One, two, three. Oh, it went to sleep. It's all good. Wake back up, please. Thank you. Wake that controller back up. Evidently not being a pro controller takes a little more work. You got to turn the switch on before you wake the controller back up. Yes, my PS4 controller is running off of this 8-bit dongle there. Kirby's Dreamland. Look at this ghetto ass game here. Ghetto. You know what's a good game? On the SNES. Close content. Go back, load content. Start directory. I gotta fix that directory. Oh, we're in the Game Boy Advance. My bad. I forgot I changed the emulator. Pokemon. What do we got here? Which one should we start? Fire Red? Not sure if I have a save state. I'll push L and find out. Probably don't. Been so busy lately. Was up to past 1 in the morning. Figuring out this sleep fix. So I can pass on some good knowledge to everybody. I'm sure you all greatly appreciate it. What is this little guy? Huh. Not sure exactly what he's supposed to be used for. That's different though. I haven't really played this one before. It looks like even on this one you have a sidekick you can use. So we're going to cut this video. It's your boy Leonidas. Got the sleep fix in the last video along with touch support for the homebrew menu. Um, got many tutorials to actually... Get into homebrew, you do have to go into RCM mode and then send your payload through whatever method you want. The new payload is allowing for the sleep wake fix. As you can see, I'm going to demonstrate one more time. My switch will wake up. All the best, you guys. I'm sure everyone's going to be happy today using all this new stuff. These new goodies that have been passed down. Now I'm out for now. I might have something later on. Take care. Peace.